These aren't your typical Easter eggs. They're so much more than incredible. For former Explosive Ordnance Disposal Tech Commander Hong Kao, building the beeping device is second nature. It's uh, built basically from like an IED, uh, which is a series circuit. It has a beeper, and, uh, a switch, and a battery. And when you turn it on, it, it'll emit a sound, which allows uh, visually impaired children to be able to locate them during Easter egg hunts. As a military family, the cows have moved frequently, but they've made sure to take their eggs and idea with them to help spread spring cheer no matter where they are. I think that we have made the decision to bloom where we're planted and to make a difference wherever God sends us. I helped um, connect these pieces together. Gabriel is 11 years old and helps with assembling the eggs with his dad and other EOD techs. Do you think that you could make it by yourself now? It involves a lot of welding, so no. <laughs> the mission of the Audible Egg is to make sure those with visual impairments aren't left on the sideline during the decades-old tradition. It's usually us that do these egg rolls, but, um, but now we're serving other kids who, who never get to do this. So this is our way to say this is something special just for you, and um, they usually walk away with a beeping egg and use it um, every day. This Saturday, the family will take their talents to Gulf Beach Baptist Church in Panama City Beach for an audible egg Easter egg hunt, taking their military duty and using it in the most patriotic way. There are bad people out there and we want to take this technology and we, we want to use it for something beautiful and we want to do that to honor the men and women um, who have given their lives for this country. This type of spring training doesn't require a ballpark in Florida. Rather, some of the state's most pristine natural springs, some dive gear, and a lot of umbilical cord. Green diver in water checks. It was pretty dark. The flashlights helped really well. Private Kelly Florida is a student at the dive school at NSA Panama City, ironically from Texas. Vortex Springs is his first spring dive. It was definitely different than the pool. <laughs> Lots of space to run around. Way different from the pool. The pool is nice and comfy. Just about everyone agrees the change in venue gets the blood flowing, which is much needed when waters at the spring drop to 52 degrees. So it gets us away from the schoolhouse and lets us see a totally different thing. It's nice. So it gets the students out um, away from you know the stressful environment of being at, at school. So it's kind of like going on a field trip. Most will be attached to a mobile dive unit after graduation, so the trip to northern Walton right County down, provides down a first-hand look at their future work environment. We're using these expedient systems and showing that we can just load up on the back of a truck and hit the water and then get out of here immediately afterwards. Once in the water, though, the rocky bottom of Vortex Spring brings with it some challenges, ones that divers aren't typically used to seeing. They're walking in, they're having to traverse down cliff walls, they're having to go down into the caves, tend each other in. As soon as you get down there, uh, there's a platform, then there's like a drop off, about a 10 foot drop off, and then it goes into the cave. But there is one crystal clear reason these divers love diving in Ponce de Leon. It comes with the territory. Uh, you actually see things instead of, you know, all the uh, turbidity and, and some of the water that we get in the uh, St. Andrews Bay. They say it's gin clear water in there, so I'm pretty excited to check it out. <laughs>